And the next one will be Jonot Jurgo uh, from Romania, and uh, he will be uh, talking about uh, the, some crickets and their secrets. I'm really interested. Jonot, are you there? Yes. Tell us about these crickets. We'll take another five minutes for you. So, is it working? No. Yes. Is it okay? It's okay. Okay. So, um, I shall skip the introduction then. Uh, let's get to, to data collection. Myrmecophilus specimens were uh, found actually, <coughs> of course, in ant nests, located in old logs or underneath stones. Uh, they seem to prefer uh, wet areas and some Balkan species uh, would prefer dry areas. Uh, for DNA extraction, we amplify two mitochondrial gene fragments from uh, CO1 and 16S uh, RNA. And for uh, Wolbachia infection, we tested uh, our samples <coughs> for, uh, in order to see if there is any implication in the parthenogenetic uh, population. For the phylogenetic analysis, we use the MEGA7 and POPART 1.7. Results. Um, what's the best way to identify the ant crickets? Some identification characters used previously, such as the number of spines on the hind basitarsus and the apical linen spurs of the hind tibia are variable. So, our best option is to rely on body color and morphological traits showing clear uh, taxonomic differences within the genus, such as the body particular surface and the shape of subgenitalia plate. Uh, I was telling you about Myrmecophilus acervorum that it's not always parthenogenetic. Actually, that's the disclosed the secret today. We found the males in Romania and in uh, northern Bulgaria. And I shall not go on with the classic description of the male. I just want to show you about uh, some uh, genitalia details, some photos of the dorsal and the ventral uh, genitalia in male, A and B, and the ovipositor uh, ventrally in uh, females, in uh, C figure some uh, SEM uh, photos of the hairs on the body, the male genitalia, and the female ovipositor. So, how should we separate the continental Balkan species? We have about uh, six uh, known so far species, as Dragan told you before. And uh, the best way seem to be the, by checking the pilosity of the body, the shape of female subgenital plate, and the body color, which is the easiest way. So uh, for the, this species, it's better to show you photos. Mirmecophilus acervorum, Ochraceus, Hirticaudus, Balcanicus, Mirmecophilus Mirmecophilus, and Mirmecophilus non -Vailleri. Uh, Ochraceus, Balkanicus, and non Baileri were uh, recently described, all from the Balkans. And you can see that uh, Ochraceus uh, is quite different from the others, also Hirticaudus, also Myrmecophilus, Myrmecophilus. Maybe he looks a little like Balkanicus. And uh, non Baileri is more closely uh, related in body color with uh, Acervoro. So, is this the first record of Myrmecophilus acervorum males? Actually, there were two earlier reports of acervorum males, but they turned out to be false. The first record was by Sabo in 1912, based on specimens collected in Budapest in Hungary. We re-examined these uh, specimens and clearly identified them as Myrmecophilus non baileri an ant cricket that was recently described from Serbia by Ingrish and Pavicevic. 
And the second record of uh, males was made uh, from Spain by Espadaler and Olmo Vidal in 2011. And also these specimens were revised by Stalling and they seem to belong to Myrmecophilus fuscus, a species recently described in 2013. Now, about the genetic part. We tested the Myrmecophilus acervorum for Volbachia infection because you know that Volbachia is this uh, endosymbiont known to induce uh, parthenogenesis in many insects. Surprisingly, the Volbachia presence was confirmed only in individuals from three populations with both sexes, and no amplification was obtained from parthenogenetic populations. Now, it would be interesting to see if the parthenogenetic populations in Western Europe have such endosymbionts known to induce this uh, state. Further on, for uh, phylogenetic and phylogeographic analysis, uh, it looks like the phylogeny of uh, Myrmecophilus that we had uh, at hand uh, is characterized by deep uh, divisions between morphologically distinct species and shallow distances for within species relationships. The topology revealed four well-supported monophyletic groups uh, with green um, Myrmecophilus non veileri, with blue Acervorum, with orange uh, Fuscus and Gallicus, and with uh, dark red we have Myrmecophilus balcanicus. And what's interesting, we have this parthenogenetic clade within uh, Myrmecophilus Acervorum uh, populations, and all three, all uh, six uh, haplotypes belong to the same clade. Now on the median joining network, uh, we have this uh, distribution with seven haplotypes so far. You can see we went up to Germany, but we need to go even more west. And here the haplotype CO1H2 is the widest spread, uh, being found in 10 uh, populations from four countries, followed by uh, CO1H1 with uh, magenta, that, is that was found in four populations from two countries, and haplotype CO1H4 found only in three populations from Romania. We can observe that uh, there's a clear separation of H1 to H3 haplotypes, the ones that are uh, with red, orange, and uh, magenta. Those are the parthenogenetic populations distributed west of the Carpathians in Central Europe and uh, in Pyrenean Mountains in southwestern Bulgaria. And those are uh, separated from H4 and H6 that are with green and uh, blue. Those are populations with both sexes occurring east of the Carpathian Mountains. So the question arises, are the Carpathians the barrier or not? We shall see, but I think we have pretty much an answer. So here are some photos from the field work. And thank you for your attention. Great, Dragon. Uh, sorry, Yonut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's there with you. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Um, so this is really news, I think, for many of us, and especially, uh, well, with a well-distributed non pathogenetic uh, clade in Romania. It's very interesting. Are there any questions from the floor? No? No, no. Yes, there is one. Hi, Brigitte Gottsberger from Austria. Um, I just uh, have the question of the Eastern population, are there now parthenogenetic and non parthenogenetic sharing the same haplotype, or are they all with uh, males and females, the, the, the green ones you showed? Now, the, the green ones, all, everything that's uh, east of the Carpathians are uh, populations with both sexes. There was no parthenogenetic population. We always found the males with the females. Okay, there's another question online. Well, not online, but by me, Roy. 
Hi, Jonut. <laughs> hey. uh, did I understand correctly that there was uh, Wolbachia in the, the non parthenogenetic populations and yeah. not in the parthenogenetic? Would, would that mean that in, uh, in Myrmecophilus, Wolbachia uh, uh, disables the parthen parthenogenesis? Or what is your theory about that? No, we are just beginning of a theory here. Maybe there are other endosymbionts that are what at work in the Western populations. We don't know yet. Thank you very much, Jonut. Thank you.